medical school with students supposedly the busiest packed with studying, lectures, practicals, and always with a full schedule. Today, I will show you a week in my life as a first year medical student in the University of Hong Kong, what my schedule is like, and how much studying really is required. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I first started off my week on the Monday with a 9.30 a.m. problem-based learning tutorial. These tutorials are quite unique to our learning and basically we're given a clinical case scenario and we're trying to discuss it as a group and this is obviously to hope to foster our professional communication skills, the ability to, to discuss with others about a clinical case scenario as well as utilizing what we've learned in our lectures and applying our knowledge into these scenarios. So right now, we're currently at the Hong Kong Museum of Medical Sciences. This is part of our MH program, which is the Medical Humanities program. And our tutorial group, our PDL group, all went here to understand more about the history of medicine, in particular in Hong Kong. Where are we, Russell? We're the Hong Kong Museum of Medical Sciences. Yeah! Jacob, what do you think of this place? What do I think about this place? Pretty fancy. Mm. Very colonial era architecture. Yeah. So this is Hong Kong Station. I pass through here every single day. Transit is I take the MTR down here and then I transfer to a minibus or a taxi to the medical campus. So right now I am heading to the minibus station. I got myself a bakery. I've got some physiological practical coming up in the medical campus, so I'll be taking the minibus to the medical campus for a muscle practical. So before the physiological practical, I decided to do some studying for muscles because we'll be doing some nerve muscle preparation for our practical and in particular the revision of the determination of the threshold stimulus to do with action potentials as well as twitch, summations and tetanuses. So I'm actually currently in my faculty's learning commons area which is the common study area and is my favorite study area because you can see other medical students in this area. It's got an amazing seaside view and the lighting and frankly the decoration and interior design is just awesome. On the same day, one of our PBL group members has her 18th birthday and we all decide to sing happy birthday after the physiological practical. It was one of the most heart-touching moments of the week. Tuesday night, I decided to go to the Learning Commons for some studying slash sleeping and that night also went to the Sports Centre for some weekly rowing training. Good morning from Central Station again. New bakery, new day. Today I've got an embryology lecture at 9.30 and it's currently 9.15 and hopefully I catch the new bus to the introduction to embryology. What did we just have? We just had embryology. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to do the practical. <laughs> so I'm currently at the HKU Med building. This is the main entrance. Chinese medicine lecture next. Nice. Yeah. Rice. This is Sulei Jia. 
to adjust your place. After the lectures, I then went for a visit of the clinical teaching centers for Chinese medicine in my university. 一般的草药的话就不是那么，一般都是比较经济的价格。对，原来草药也要也可以是这样昂贵的。对，那现在是可以的，这个是。Good morning, everyone. Today's a Friday, and thank God it's finally Friday. Currently, it's 9 a.m. I have the physiological practical thing with connective tissues at 1 p.m. I live quite far away from campus, like a two-hour transit. So、uh, yeah, I probably had to start going. So we all went just had lunch. And currently in the med faculty building, this is where we have our lectures. It's currently 12 p.m. and the practicals at 1 p.m. in the lab block. So I will probably go up to our learning commons area, the revision area, and then finish off an essay for my common core. This is my lab block, and、uh, got my locker here. My locker, white coat. So our physiological practical mainly was on connective tissues, and really, it's more just a revision of the theory and applying what we've learned in lectures into a in more interactive way. After my practical, I went to the learning commons area again and revised the embryology lecture that I've watched on Wednesday, if you remember, and we sort of rewatched the lecture. And gone over and made notes and made flashcards in Anki. Also, I just learned this from Calvin, and apparently, the ceiling lights in our learning commons area is inspired by the design of mitochondria. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. No medical school today, so. Currently, I'm at a place in Hong Kong called Discovery Bay. It's an absolutely gorgeous place. I'll show some B-roll, but it's basically a residential-only place, and they banned all private cars here. And it's got some gorgeous beaches, gorgeous views, gorgeous houses. Look at that gorgeous view. We got some incline elevators here,、uh, quite unique actually. And that's a plaza, and we've got the hotel. Okay, y'all. I managed to get a own elevator or more incline elevator. Plaza looks sick. Like it looks sort of European vibes, but in an Asian country. And、uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no private cars. There's only buses allowed here. And I came here because I don't live here. I came here because I do tutoring with some students, and that's my part-time job. My income comes to fund my food. And Daily life, basically. I just finished tutoring, and after tutoring, I'm heading off to Hong Kong Disneyland. You like? How do you, how do you feel? Saturday night, currently in Hong Kong Disneyland. Who says medical students can't have fun, right? Right now. We just finished watching fireworks show Momentous. Absolutely phenomenal. Very, very beautiful. First time I've watched it. It's very emotional for me, and the combination of the VFX as well as the fireworks and the music really touches your heart. Got loads of themes, like for example, love with the music, all paired up to fantastic production. Well done. So that's quite been a fruitful week, hasn't it? You've not seen the amount of studying that is really required to go behind the process. I've not really captured the studying process. Every week, we're given loads and loads of e-learning videos, and that's all the content that we need to know for the science and the medicine. And these e-learning videos. Just compound up exponentially as you go up, and really, the amount of workload really, really is as what they said. And it is a lot of work.、It、seems like infinite amount of content to go through every single week. It is medicine, after all. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some insight into medical school life. Whether or not if you're interested in applying to medical school, or if, if you're in medical school right now, hook me up. Click here for another one of my awesome videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta luego.